Hey, 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 Stubby here, and we are back on another episode of Scabies 2. Uh, so, in between episodes, if you guys didn't catch it, I did like uh, nine hours of streaming over the weekend. Uh, yeah, it was fun. And I also kind of got in the groove that we're going to do uh, long streams every Sunday on Twitch and throughout the week whenever I can. But it was a lot of fun. Some people showed up. I actually gave away a few games, and it was a good time. Uh, so in between episodes, some major changes. First one is I added refined storage. Yes, I did. Uh, <laughs> we're still going to do the applied energistics quest. We're going to get through it all. But I, as soon as I was able to get to the necessary points in order to do this, uh, I met mechanism so I can make the enrichment chamber. Uh, I think it was... One of these steps. I went through it. I think it was the original chamber. Uh, I was like, you know what? I'm at applied logistics. I, my, my preferred digital storage is, is refined. So we're going to go through the AA2 storage just to knock out the quest line, get it all set up, kind of, you know, learn the quirks of it. But I did go to refined. The other part is all of my hives on one side are gone and I have to go down the floor. I have apiaries. So far, I have only five in operation. I still got to do a couple more bee breedings to get the other four for this side. Um, the way I'm doing it is ungodly overkill. I'm going to be getting so many hives, it's not even funny. And I don't even know if I'm going to have enough elite centrifuges when I get there to handle it. But I'm doing these high, uh, tier ones will hold nine unique bees. So realistically, you could probably hold 18 bees because you could have one in the hive, one out if you really wanted to, to get the flow going. And that produces a lot. And what did a stubby do? Stubby did the same nine bees in nine of them. Yeah. Well, five for now. But, yeah. Maybe we'll just do, you know, nine, same nine bees in five, split it up. Haven't quite figured out the math because it is producing way too many. Uh, but... It's fun. So far, I've only got the basics. I got, what is it? Nether Quartz, Ancient, Steel, Radioactive, Icy, Coal, uh, Redstone, Iron, trying to see, Wither, Steel, yeah. That's what we got going over there, and I got a bunch more ready. I just have to start bringing them up here. And the way I did it is underneath there's a storage block, and then there's importers. And it looks like so far the importers are keeping up, which was very, very nervous for me. Down here, I have got all the prep work done. As you can see, I have the storage blocks. I just haven't put the apiaries in. And I got all the cabling done. Outside, out front, nothing really has changed. We got the uh, Insanomatic mob farm. Uh, and during the stream, we came up with a great idea. So I am going to do a energizing room for the power energizers for the top tier, the nitro ones. And because this is my dark demonic blood magic on this side, we're going to do my heavenly angelic. I don't know what you want to reference it to, but it'll be a lighter theme with all the rays of the of the power energizers feeding an orb in the center of the room like an altar. So that's that's the grand design we came up with. Thought it was going to be quite entertaining. And down below we'll see the magic. So, refined. Lots of refined. Very temporary. I just needed it. Uh, so we'll start over here. Nothing has changed. Haven't even made a wither. Still haven't figured out where I want to, how I want to make my pneumatic craft section look. Uh, let's see. We'll talk about go ahead and talk about refined. Um, for those that don't know refined, I'm gonna give a quick little overview of it. Uh, refined is digital storage. I did add a couple of the add-ons, the the large patterns and the questify things like that. Um, I didn't add the more discs, so I am stuck at 64k discs. I may or may not add it. We'll see depending on the space, but I've got drawers open, so I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Uh, and the way this works is you get multiple types of monitors. You get the regular grid, or you can upgrade it to a crafting grid. 
which is what I have right here. This allows you to see all of your items and craft. So here's everything in my storage. There's also an attached cable running underneath to my drawer so you see it all. The next monitor I have is a pattern grid. This is what you use to create crafting patterns for automated crafting. So if you see that I wanted a vinyl of sugar, uh, I have a lot. Uh, let's pick something I don't have a lot of, casings, right? I get the option, I can go ahead and craft one. And to see how everything is going, you make the crafting monitor. As you can see, I'm crafting storage disks right now. It's currently processing 124 nether quartz into silicone over in my redstone furnace. But this is kind of, you can see where I don't, I only have one furnace. All of these steps right here are requiring a furnace. So you can tell it's not accepting. It's not accepting because it's in use for something else. But that's how you can troubleshoot issues with it. And over here, I have the crafter manager. So I have, what, six crafters here, a couple more back over there, we'll see. And this is how you can manage what recipes are in them. So I could go, oh, I need to put this recipe right here. It works out great. I have the disk manipulator and the disk drive. The disk drive is what you put your physical storage. If you don't have a drawer or any sort of attached storage, you need a drive or a storage block. I prefer the disks. I think they look cool. They're little server racks. The manipulator is what I'm actually about to be using as soon as I get my first or second disk. Uh, if you happen to say hypothetically, you know, set up your ICB to run to the centrifuge and produce the ice and you forgot to put the void upgrade on here. <laughs> and you run into a thing like this, where I have 7,000 ice because 5,000 went into the system. You can take a full disk and an empty disk and it will put everything in. You will put an empty disk into your disk drive, take your full disk, and it will process everything back into your network off that disk so it'll resort everything if there's drawers available at that point it'll sort it all out for you and this is the power core now the next step in here is getting to wireless that's my next end goal and there is a few other features if you're playing on a multiplayer server there is security capabilities there is wireless there's wireless transmission of all of your data with the network transmitters, network receivers. Um, you can place and destroy items in the world with the constructor and destructor. You can hook to your external storage. You can import items from something. You can export items from something. Uh, these are storage blocks and just a variety of colors. We went with orange. The standard is this blue right here that you see. But we went with that honey orange because, yeah, you know, we got the bees. And large pattern encoder, large pattern is part of the add-on that I put on and wireless crafting. So that is essentially the rundown. Now in these crafters, they work in two ways. If they're facing not a machine that you want them to use, you can use them as just like a crafting table. This will just craft. Like when I needed 600 and something uh, wax machine blocks to make my centrifuges. Just put in the series of patterns needed and I let it run. Now, if they are facing the machine, they can be used to insert. So right now in the top is an insert and it is actually putting the items from my network into here. Currently it's this one right here. And I have an exporter on the back, taking everything back out into my network. Pretty easy, pretty simple. This has my new power set up. Oh, so we just hit all the connectors under here. Same as before, kind of cleaned up the look of it a little bit, but we have an, uh, excuse me, an export chest, an input chest. So it says export because it's pulling from and putting into these. Uh, so we went through the line we've got, this is making dry ice. This is making uh, the centrifuge casings. This is making my energized steel, my blazing, my, what is it, niotic, my spirited uh, components for power. And everything is exporting back and putting into this chest. And the way I handled all that was on the back side, I did the same thing with the crafters, except I had them facing a chest. So this chest is facing a chest. So when I call a recipe, 
it'll put the items into the chest and then my xnet system will take it and put it in the appropriate orbs and right here i have two more crafters this is the stuff related to power i kind of just wanted to keep it you know in the area that it's associated with and my manual centrifuge over here where i do i'm doing my honey collection why are you not interesting interesting Something has funkied up on this. Or it's just... Oh, it's... Maybe it's producing faster? I don't know. I'll have to come back and play with that. But I've got enough honey for now. Nothing here has changed. Uh, back here, we have done a couple things. We had my metallurgic infuser. Uh, we needed that. We were getting to some higher tiers of the mechanism cables. And we had some fun little adventures on the stream where I didn't realize there was just a sliver of something in here and I couldn't get it to work. And we have now automated. This is going to be moved. Um, but I was doing some explanations about how to make sure this is all set up properly. We kind of have done it on, on an episode, so I'm not going to rehash it. But we have inputs automated for blocks of coal, blocks of redstone, dry ice, and uranite. Now, I could craft it into this to make it better, but, I mean, at this point, it's, you know, it's doing its thing. And on the back, you can see over here is where I'm actually exporting into the system. I also have a jetpack now, as you can see. I might have had to hurry up and craft that because some stubby might have accidentally, I don't know wandered somewhere down there. Uh, the jetpacks are really, really easy to craft. Uh, you can start at the wood tier. Uh, it's all wood and iron redstone components. Then you go to stone. It's just the same concepts, slightly upgraded, and iron. The next one we have is refined glowstone, enderium, and then valdanium, which somebody wanted to make this the most insanely painful recipe don't know who that is but the benefit to this jetpacks if you do need to fly around the jetpacks are incredibly simple to make and if you happen to come here and you go over to your wireless charging you can choose which slots you want to be wireless chargeable like i did my armor slots and i hit apply after enabling it so now if you look at my jetpack even though it's on you see my energy is constantly refilling from my network, so I don't have to worry about it unless I have bigger issues. And I didn't check. I wonder if this could go into a Curios. No. That's it. But that is what we set up there. Now downstairs. Downstairs has slightly evolved some more. I wanted to take a moment to show you this nice empty. Ah! <laughs> there is one centrifuge per apiary, and pretty soon, as I upgrade the apiary tiers, we're going to have to upgrade all of these to elite centrifuges. So that's why I'm trying to push power and I'm trying to push. Excuse me, I'm trying to push um, power and power so we can get the energizing needed because it was elite. To, let's give you an idea. Look at this. Centrifuge. To make the regular one, it was 250,000 RF. To make an elite one, it's a million. And block of redstone, block of netherite, it's just painful. And the nitro one, We'll do 3,000 RF per tick. I want it to go faster than that. So I'm going to make the nitro hull out there that we talked about. I think outside of that, that was all of the major changes. It was a lot of just fun times hanging out on stream. Uh, yeah. Oh, and thermal. So we got into thermal. 
the redstone furnace i wanted to talk about thermal thermal is a mod that is a machine automation process for everything you can do just like mechanism that we just run by uh, the cool thing about thermal is you can upgrade them you can configure the sides and you can kind of you know set your redstone controls see how much power it's using just get a little bit of everything out of it it is wonderful thermal has a lot of machines that we can play with there is a whole lot of quests that we will have to be going through to make these and just like mechanism the difference between them is the upgrades for mechanism are usually the upgraded machine so you'll make a different machine so you like a smelting factory enriching factory which are upgrades ultimate crushing factory so on so in, be in between episodes, when I'm not streaming, I'm going to keep working on the bees. We're, we're getting there. Uh, we're going to work on look at that. We're just slowly getting them. Storage, I'm just waiting on, I believe. Oh, no, storage is done. Batania, I got to just get going on Batania. We're going to have to do the ter terrestrial agglomeration plate, get ourselves ready, and go fight a guy. So it's going to be a fun little time together blood magic i've gone as far as the mechanism casing i will be able to get here my hold up is i need to do the whole weak blood orb process or weak shards so once we get to there we'll be able to move on and that's about it as far as quests that i have knocked out i haven't gone too far into quests it was a lot of building a lot of planning trying stuff over and over again making a bunch of these and forgetting to put this one in my inventory. So I got to go make another one. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up as kind of a short episode. I just wanted to do a, a Monday catch up. I, I should hopefully have this all edited and out by uh, tomorrow morning. But I want to just kind of go through what happened over the weekend. We had lots of stream time, lots of fun. And we're going to get back into the grind of pushing out more videos this week. So I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. And for those that came, to, came and checked out the stream, it was a great time. And if you guys want to check out the stream, I do stream live on twitch.tv slash stubborn disciple. You can get updates in the Discord over there. The On The Grind Discord is popping. Uh, yeah. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. And until next time, stubby out.